Welcome to G Automotive. I am Gaurav Advani, and today we are here for the all-new Citroen C5 Aircross. This is the first product from Citroen in the Indian market. It is available in a single-engine option that is a two-liter diesel paired along with a torque converter that is automatic transmission. This is basically a five-seater SUV. It is available in two variants, feel and shine. Today we are going to cover the shine variant. We will talk about the price later in the video and who are the rivals that it car directly rivals. We will also talk about every feature briefly in the video. By the time, if you are finding the videos to be interesting, please do subscribe the channel. So now let us get into the video. Let us start with the exterior. In the front, it gets reflector based LED headlamps along with LED DRLs. Two chrome strips running across with Citroen's logo in the center. Underneath, this is how the front bumper looks. You also get front parking sensors placed on it along with a projector based LED fog lamp. And this is how the overall front design of the Citroen C5 L Cross looks. Let us now move on to the side profile. It gets 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheels with a tire profile of 235.55 R18. Black finish on the ORVMs along with turn indicator. Request sensor on the driver's side door. Chrome finish across the windows, roof rails and a panoramic sunroof. Now take a wider view at the side profile. It gets an overall length of 4.5 meters, width of 1.96 meters and height of 1.7 meters. Let us now move on to the rear end. This is how its LED tail lamps look. You also get badging of C5 across here. Citroen's logo in the center. Along with rear wiper, rear defogger and high mount stop lamp placed here. You get four reverse parking sensors at the rear bumper. Along with reflectors. And this is how the overall rear end of the car looks. You also get a reverse parking camera placed just beneath the Citroen's logo. Now let us open the boot. You also get an electronic tailgate so you just have to press the button and it automatically opens. You get a boot space of 580 liters which is quite good. You also get halogen boot lamp placed here. The spare wheel is placed just beneath the boot space. Now in order to increase the boot space you can fold the second row seats. The second row seats can be folded individually so, in, so you can increase the boot space according to your need. Now in order to close the boot, you have to press the button placed here and it automatically shuts down. So this was all about the exterior. Now let us move on inside the car. Let us now talk about the interior. On the driver's side door you get controls for all the 4 power windows. All the 4 power windows come with one touch up and down feature. You also get controls here for ORVM, silver finished interior door handles. You get soft finish here on the door, underneath some space and additional storage. Controls here for electric child lock and anti-intrusion alarm. You also get dedicated ticket holder placed here along with headlight leveler and AC vents. The driver seat comes with 6-way electric adjustment for reach and height but you get manual adjustment on the front passenger seat. Talking about seats, you get silver leather plus fabric finish on the seats. Overall the seats are quite comfortable. Let us now get inside the car and notice all the features and talk about them briefly. Let us first start the car. You get the push start stop button placed here. Take a look at its instrument cluster. You get fully digital instrument cluster which looks quite premium. You can control all the settings of it by the controls provided on the steering wheel. You can also configure the uh, dials design according to your need. You get Controls for instrument cluster on the left side of the steering wheel, Citroen's logo in the center. On the right side controls for the infotainment system. You also get pedal shifters placed here. On the right side controls for wipers. On the left side controls for headlights and turn indicator. You also get controls here for cruise control and limiter. Let us now talk about other things. You get automatic torque converter gearbox. In order to drive your vehicle manually, you just have to press this button. You also get a terrain selection in between, which includes snow mode, sand mode and mud mode. Push start stop button. Controls here for eco mode, sport mode and hill descent control. Electronic parking brake. Some space here. Take a look at the key. It gets three buttons. 
lock, unlock and for opening the boot. On the other side Citroen's logo. You can keep the key here. Two cup holders along with mood lighting inside them. You get a very deep storage space inside the driver armrest. It also gets a light inside but misses on the cooling function. Let us now talk about the infotainment system. You get wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity in it. You get all the related functions just beneath with touch sensitive controls, related music, AC and navigation. Controls here for front and rear defoggers along with hazard light and volume knob. 12 volt charging socket along with a USB socket with some space to keep your mobile. You get soft touch finish on the dashboard everywhere. The glove box is also large in size and is very deep. Also you get auto dimming IRVM placed here. You get a display on the top which shows which passenger is wearing seat belt and which passenger is not along with passenger airbag indication. Controls for cabin lights and controls for panoramic sunroof. Take a look at the panoramic sunroof. You get vanity mirror on both driver and co-driver side along with lights that are halogen. Now take a wider look at the dashboard design overall of the Citroen C5 Aircross. Overall the dashboard looks quite premium and subtle. Let us now talk about the second row. On the door you get controls for power window along with grab handle and soft touch finish on the door. Chrome finish interior door handle. You get three individual seats in the second row so that each and every passenger can adjust the seat according to their need. Each seat can be folded, reclined or adjusted individually. As you can see, you can fold any of the seats according to increasing the boot space or the need of the passenger. Now let us get inside the second row and let us talk about what are the things on offer for the second row seat passengers. Let us first take a look at the dashboard. This is how the overall dashboard design of the car looks. It includes safety features like 6 airbags, hill descent control, brake assist, electronic stability program along with ABS and EBD. This is how the panoramic sunroof looks like. AC vents in the center along with a USB charging socket. Let us not talk about space. You get good amount of knee room and leg room on offer for the second row seat passengers with height of 6 feet. The side seats are ideal for adults but the center seat is comfortable only for children as the leg space is very tight because of AC vents. You also get 3 adjustable headrests for each of them. LED cabin lights for the second row seat passengers. So this was all on offer for the second row seat passengers. This was all about the Citroen C5 Aircross. This particular shine variant is priced at Rs 33,78,000 ex showroom India. Comment on what was your favorite feature and what are your thoughts on the car. This was all about the video. Also do like, share, subscribe the channel and get notified for all my upcoming videos. Thank you so much.